Excellent. I'm Mary. 90. 108. You got your super challenge questions as well. Excellent. Positive behaviour. Write it down. The perimeter on the outside. Thank you. A classic strategy to boost your teaching is to get your students to assess each other's efforts, organising them so that they help each other out. Incidentally, they'll reveal to you what they know and what they don't. Rich Walter at Merchants Academy in Bristol has developed a simple way of enabling students to do this and encouraging valuable peer-to-peer -peer assessment with a pack of post-it notes. We're going to move on to the post-it stickers. Now, they're all pitched at certain levels, all right? You've got your standard questions, your challenge questions, and then if you're really, really good, you've got your super challenge questions as well. And the post-it strategy works essentially by putting up a set of differentiated questions. So there's three levels there, standard, challenge, super challenge. I want all of you to start off on standard questions. Are you ready? Yeah. Off you go. Let's go, let's go. They'll choose a question, they'll take it away, They'll work it out in their books, all their working, and then they just write the answer on the back of the post-it. The important bit is, is they then sign their name. It's not in flashing lights for everyone to see. It's on the back of the post-it sticker. It's discreet, so they're a bit less embarrassed to really give things a go. They'll then take another question from the board, and inevitably what you will have is a question that's already been answered by another pupil. The most important thing there is the fact that pupils have a chance to assess whether they're right or wrong based on what answers on the back of that post-it sticker. And the really powerful thing is when actually they've got a different answer. They're able to identify the person who's got a different answer to them because they've signed their name. They'll go up to that person, they'll check their answer with that pupil. And the discussion that comes out of that is, well, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. You can stand back and literally watch pupils teach each other. I reckon that is a 210. The manner in which they explain how they got a certain answer is far clearer and far more accessible from pupil to pupil than I could ever make it most of the time. Um, and that has the advantage in that the person who's explaining how they got an answer cements that process and that thinking in their head better. It adds up to 260, so you've got to add 100 to it, which is 360. Yeah. Yeah. The people who's essentially being taught, well, they have access to a different way it's being explained to them by that pupil, which is maybe different to how I've presented it to them. 30 seconds. In my experience, pupils will get to the point where they work it out for themselves. And actually, that's the difficult thing, is if you see something on the back of a post-it note sticker which you know is wrong, but it's been checked by five people and they've ticked it, if you step in at that point, you're potentially disrupting a, a real spark for a really good conversation to ensue between those five people who've checked it and the one person that disagrees. You've got to have confidence that your pupils will get there, and, and they will. I want to show the progression of your learning today. Do you see Katie has started off on standard questions? She's got those questions right. She's shown her working beautifully. The really nice thing was your progression through it, Kate. You started off with standard questions. You checked a few answers with people. You were happy with it, so you then progressed on to challenge questions when you were ready. The way I um, divide the questions up according to those three ability levels I always link it back to the Key Stage 3 framework. It's pretty definite, specific, grade level criteria. So for today, we were looking at 5C, 5C stroke, 5B, and then pushing on to 5A stroke, 6C. This one here doesn't take a genius, but you got onto it, so well done, Linz. What level is this? 6C. Well done. It's pushing into 6C, but what is it mostly? 5A. Yeah. This now bridges the gap between level 5 and level six. Because That's the beauty of how this works. It gives pupils not only empowerment in their learning and putting them in the position to assess their learning and understanding and what targets they have in order to improve, but also gives them that flight path essentially in terms of progression. And actually when you reveal what levels you've been doing with them at the end of the lesson, that's a lovely bit. You know, they, they oh God, I've, I've been doing level five, level six stuff today. 
And it really rubbishes the fact that their target minimum grade at the end of the year is level four because they realise they're better than that. They can push themselves onward and upward and that's a really brilliant thing to witness and be part of.